Closer to home now, a group of Morris Park homeowners are voicing their opposition against a proposed plan that would house critically sick ex inmates from Rikers Island within blocks of their homes. News 12's Carmen Grant has reaction tonight from both sides of this issue. Homeowners who live near Seminole Avenue are united in this message, not in our neighborhood. We don't want it. I don't want it. We need this like we need a hole in there. The city is looking at a plan that would house former Rikers Island inmates who are severely ill at this medical building on the campus of NYC Health and Hospitals Jacoby. The proposed site would have about 72 beds for critically sick ex inmates, as well as a section dedicated to affordable housing for formerly homeless New Yorkers. Many of these people are going to be very ill and have mobility challenges. So the kind of care we need to give them is care that I think we would want to give to our grandmother, our brothers, our sisters, our family members. Earlier today, Assemblywoman Natalia Fernandez met with Fortune Society, the service provider, to tour the site and clear up any misinformation about the proposed plan. There was rumor that the wall was going to bro get broken down to be the new entrance of this property and of this project. That is not true. There is no plans to break the wall. There is no construction happening right now. But homeowners say what's being proposed is not the right fit for their residential community. Why would they have to put them in a neighborhood like this? This is one of the best neighborhoods in all of the Bronx. There's no need to put it here. Others are weary about what's to come. Makes me feel a little bit better that they're not going to gain access, that they're not going to, you know, take down the wall that's here, you know, but everything remains to be seen. 100% I don't believe what they're saying because like I said, the office are flip flopping. They one day you get one answer, one day we get another answer. Next week, a community input meeting is scheduled to take place. So the community has an opportunity to listen, but also to voice their concerns and any questions that they may have can be clarified there. Local officials say construction is at least three years away and the project will still need approval from the city council in Morris Park. Carmen Grant.